man in boots. <laughs> Probably dead for the race. As James tries to nail that rut, welcome to the uh, the video. Welcome to uh, Peel Park, the last round of the Yorkshire Cyclocross Championship, and it's a tough course today. Um, very very muddy. Um, like I don't think I could put my uh, tyres low enough uh, in terms of pressure to kind of get around some of this uh, some of these bits. It's not the corners that they're actually the issue for me. It's actually like near the start finish and stuff. My tyres are just digging straight like further down, and I'm just really struggling to kind of get any traction going in a straight line. Corners feel absolutely fine. Felt as you find coming down this bit as well. Managed to every single time get in the rut. It does shoot you out a little bit low, like towards that tree. And I've seen James try and, try and take a tire line, but um, he doesn't look like he's having much luck with it. Worked once, and it didn't work the second time. <laughs> so yeah, um, not sure what I'm going to do there. I think I'm going to try and I'm just going to stay with the rut to the tree, uh, keep the foot on the inside kind of clipped out, and just kind of drag myself past the tree, and then get kicked in back again and get going. It's all about keeping momentum, isn't it? That's the uh, the aim of the game. But yeah, it's a tough it's a tough course because it's quite undulating lots of uh, kind of slippy off cambers um, even in corners and stuff um, and then the bits where you want to put power down um, are pretty much running today it's running today like it's gonna be a lot of running a lot of bikes on the shoulder you can see already my arm is already covered uh, but yeah oh last one just one more one more on there we don't have to do this for nine months <laughs> actually I've, I've enjoyed it I've enjoyed it a lot really wide at the start yeah cutting across onto the line that i was in but i was trying to ride this rut that was here and then get high whereas he just went really wide and then cut across all the ruts but it's a case of whether everyone does this rut in the We've next race i hope the vets <laughs> cut in some nice ruts haven't they i'll go give it a go i've got zero pressure in my rear tire so that's not good yeah i think i'm probably in the team i think i'm in the like maybe six psi. <laughs> I definitely burped that on the way around, but yeah, I need to. Uh, I've got an insert in there, but yeah, I think I might put my wheels on. And they're slightly wider, so I might not dig so far down into the, uh, the dirt. Maybe just on the rear. Yeah, see how that goes. But yeah, I'm gonna go and try this uh, this uh, little section again. Last time, putting it on numbers in 2023. What a year it's been. What a series it's been. I think definitely today is probably the hardest one. But yeah, my plan today is just, uh, yeah, try and make as little mistakes as possible and just kind of ride at threshold. I think don't try and push it too hard at the beginning. I think I'm, I think what I've, what I tend to do in races is try and stick with like the faster people uh, in that kind of first first lap or so, or even half a lap probably <laughs> before I get dropped. And then what end up happening is that I just blow my doors and uh, yeah, kind of like have to spend like a couple of laps just kind of re yeah re yeah recovering and before being able to pick it up at the end. I think yeah, just. And I'll probably lose lots more time in that kind of middle section where I'm trying to recover um, at a heart, high heart rate than if I'd just gone out a little bit easier, gone at my own pace and just like let the race come to me. Like there's no need to kind of, yeah, the heart, the race is hard in itself. You do not need to make it any harder. Like let the pain come, let the hurt come. It will come at some point. Don't need to go chasing it. Yeah, so that's my plan today. Take it nice and steady at the beginning just tick things off just nice and steady my aim is kind of in that top getting to that top 20 and i think that's the best way of doing it
that Nick knew what he was doing with that court. Brilliant stuff. Right, so that's all our races on course. That's our least point. And just like that, the season's over um, and no more cyclocross for nine months. Yeah, that was an extremely tough race. Probably one of the toughest races I've ever done. Yeah, I think it was 85% of it, if not more, was uh, running with a bike on your shoulder. And then, yeah, like not actually much cycling was actually done. But despite that, I got quite a good start. I was up there in like the top 20 or so, which is the best I've done in a long time. Um, I did take a little tumble on one of the off cam cambers. Um, I didn't actually go crash myself. Like I just went over, like, I don't know, like my bike, well, I was like going down like the, um, I was in the rut and um, I think my front wheel just kind of like got caught and um, yeah, my bike just slid down the uh, the hill um, and I kind of ran down the hill like next to it and then yeah, grabbed it and carried on. Um, but then going past the pits for the first time, um, yeah, good like what, five or six minutes into the race and everyone around me went into the pits to get an, a second bike and at that point I was like, oh crap, today's going to be a very long, long race. Not having a second bike was definitely a disadvantage um, in, 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 in that race. Um, because yeah, just as you saw as well, like I had to stop on the second lap, I think it was. I had to stop and try and like clear as much mud as possible out of my bike because it was just getting so, so heavy. I think like, and yeah, my, my wheels were stopped moving. I was like trying to wheel the bike along because it was so heavy to carry, but well, you, it wasn't moving anywhere because it was just completely caked in mud. Um, and actually the only way to kind of clear it was to ride the bike. So I was trying to then, so in the last kind of few laps, I was trying to ride as much as possible um, just to try and clear the mud um, because, yeah, it was just, otherwise, yeah, your bike was not going to be moving at all. Um, so, yeah, that was my last race of the year. Um, I managed to uh, tick off that goal of getting in the top 20. Yeah, finished 18th in that race. So, yeah, my best result in the series. But, yeah, I was quite consistent across the, across the series. So I'm really, really happy with that. Um, it's given me kind of good base to kind of work towards next year um, where yeah next year I want to be pushing for that top 10 and um, so I've got a lot of lots and lots of work to do because I need to probably find maybe a minute a minute and a half 
per lap to kind of get up there. Um, so yeah, lots and lots of work to do between now and uh, September. But you guys know me, I like to make things hard for myself. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Love cross me. Send it, Rob! Send it!